Hey everyone, I'm just gonna start letting everybody in. I'm gonna mute you all. Oh, I thought I muted you all. Good. Okay, good. I'll tell him you ate it. He'll be happy. For those of you that go to Orange Theory, you guys know Jerry, right? You know Big Jerry? He cooks for me all the time. And he made like this big thing of turkey and chicken chili. So Mike's eating it for dinner tonight because I don't have enough room in my macros for it. I'm, I'm eating a turkey burger and a side of sweet potato fries because I'm not giving up my yasso bar. I'm letting people in. We're going to hold out till 704 and then I'm going to get started. I'm trying to, you guys can't see the top of my head, right? The very top. Good. I need my hair done. I'm cutting myself off. I didn't want to put on a hat or a headband. I was too lazy to get up and get it. All right, let's see if anybody else is coming on here. Anybody getting dressed up for Halloween? You are, Stacey. Yeah, I figured you would be. What are you going to dress up as? I don't have a choice. The whole building dresses as bees this year. We all dress up together every year. That's fun. Yeah, this year the kids are dressing up too. We had to make costumes at school, so everybody has a costume. Very cool. That's yeah. fun. Who else is getting dressed up in the group? I'm getting dressed up. I always get dressed up. It's the only time that I don't wear a uniform. So on Saturday, I told everybody, Orange Theory, I don't care if you wear a uniform or not. I mean, a costume or not, I'm wearing one, even though it's not Halloween till Sunday. And then I have this shirt being made to wear to my spin classes, which is kind of like a costume, but not. What is your costume? It's... <laughs> It's a fox, because then I get to wear furry leg warmers. I, I, I stay warm, because I'm always freezing. I'm having this made. Can you guys see it? For my spin glasses. It's funny. It's not a costume, but it's cute. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. It's 7.04, I'm sure people are gonna pop in late, which is fine. Um, I will let current Shred Tribe people know that some of the new Shred Tribers that are starting on Monday are in this meeting. So be nice. I am not gonna do the welcome or anything. They're just sidebar listening. Um, so Monday will be the, uh, Wednesday will be the official welcoming and raising of the hands and all that fun stuff that I do every challenge. Um, today is the wrap up from the fall challenge. The number, and I say this every challenge I know I do, but the numbers, this challenge were phenomenal. The number of weight loss was probably one of the best challenges yet, which is unbelievable. I mean, 17 pounds, 15 pounds, 13 pounds. And that's in the six, seven weeks, six or seven weeks. 
Um, the whole thing is eight weeks, but you have that pre-week training and all that stuff. So you guys should be so proud of you. Seven pounds, eight pounds, five pounds. Every person in the tribe did freaking amazing. So you guys should all give yourselves a round of applause. Also, every person made some sort of change in their life. <laughs> some sort of change in their life, whether it be they started drinking their water or they made a mental change. People message me every day. You know, um, I really had to refocus myself this stretch tribe. Some people have been in the tribe for over a year, you know, even longer. I had to come back to myself and figure out what I was going to do and refocus and stop sabotaging myself. And I realized this is what I need to do. Or um, I really needed to use that water habit. It really kept me motivated and going. Um, or staying in the challenge, even though you are challenged, is huge. There are people that had surgery this past challenge. You know, we all had um, deaths. I mean, Mike's mom passed away. Everybody has had something going on, and everybody stayed focused, committed, and pushed through all of that. Above anything, forget the weight loss. That is amazing. And you should buy, guys all be so proud of yourselves. Because there's not one person that said to me, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I need to drop out. And I, you know, I'm hundred percent transparent. I don't have a filter. It happens every effing challenge. Somebody's like, you know what? I am just way too busy. I cannot do this. I have five birthday parties coming up. I can't do this. You know what? Shit happens. Life goes on. No matter what happens, you're going to have a holiday. You're going to have somebody's birthday. Something's going to happen. And you're going to be like, shit, I can't do this but you were able to gain 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds. You didn't like get, let life get in the way of that, right? So when you feel like that, stop yourself and regroup, refocus. And a lot of you guys definitely did that. Chris, are you raising your hand when you were one of those people? I saw your hand go up, you could talk. This is a talking meeting. Unmute yourself, unmute yourself. I can't unmute you, won't let me. See it. There you okay, go. better. I think um, this challenge is perfect for five birthday parties or holidays, or it keeps you in check, it keeps you in balance. It helps you to be able to attend those things and functions and, and enjoy them and you know help you through them. You're, you're so right, because we're so used to making our social lives around food. Mm -hmm. and everything else that having something that keeps you on a straight and narrow or and not even the straight and narrow because you know you guys can go out and have fun I'm pulling up your account right now because you guys can go out and have fun and enjoy yourselves but this just helps you control it more right mm -hmm. I think so and Chris you didn't have a, you don't have a ton of weight to lose and you're, you're I don't but you you've lost four almost seven pounds, like seven pounds on a little person is a lot of weight. And for me, transforms. Go ahead. For me, this component was, I needed help with nutrition. I work out, I'm a retired Ironman training <laughs> athlete. Um, I needed another component and I needed a group and I needed a coach because you know, when you surround yourself around people that have the same interests you have, it helps you go further and it lifts you. And I'm glad to be a part of your tribe. I know I didn't reach out much and, but I'm proud to be and happy to be a part of your tribe. And I'm glad my sister's joining. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Thank you so much. So. This last meeting, I always get emotional and I'm so sorry but it just, it always happens. I don't know why it's like the end of a challenge. And I'm like, and I know there's another one starting on Monday, but I get so emotional because I know how much it has touched so many people. Um, and I was actually going to get to Chris started off and I was going to get to, if anybody wanted to talk and say what this did for them, but before we do that, because I want to be able to talk and I get way too emotional when people start talking. Um, I want to read a couple of things because it's really important for the next week. And this also goes without saying for, I'm just pulling something up, uh, goes without saying for, for future challenges and future competitions and whatever you're doing in life, what you can do to stay focused 
mostly this is going to be about weight loss and food. Um, but I'm going to read you a couple of points. <clears throat> you can write them down if you want. Um, eventually, I'll put them, I'll type them up. I mean, they're in my notes, but um, I'll type them up. Before I do that, I want to make a quick announcement. And I'm doing it now because I want to see if people actually stay on for the, for the Zoom meetings or if they just pop in and pop out. The next challenge, there is a $200 prize. So it is anybody's game. You can have to lose one pound or you can have to lose 15 pounds. It goes by percentage of weight loss, the same thing the biggest losers do. So first prize is $200, second prize is $75, third prize is a Shred Tribe bundle and a free challenge. Yay! Um, so I just thought I would let you guys all know that. We used, I used to do the money in the, in the way beginning. Um, and then I started asking people, do you want to be a part of the winnings? And then it just got way too out of control. I couldn't even manage it. So then I was just paying people because I didn't know what I was doing anymore. And I was just giving money for prizes. So then I got away from it and now we're going to be back at it. So I have that money allotted for that from all of your fees that you've all turned in. Um, because like I said, I don't do this for me. I'm never going to become a millionaire. I do it because I love what I do. All right. So I'm going to read a couple of things. So I want you guys for the next week go and going forward to focus on what you should eat, not what you shouldn't eat. When you think about that, it's kind of like a, holy crap, you know, she's right. We're always thinking, I can't eat this and I can't eat this. But think of all the amazing things you can eat. Like you can eat a cheeseburger. You can eat French fries. I'm eating sweet potato fries tonight, 26 of them. Like that's, that's a lot of food if you think about it. I'm eating two turkey burgers with Italian seasoning, which I'm going to put in the group because this Italian seasoning is amazing on the turkey burgers. Um, and versus thinking to myself, oh, I wish I could have four slices of pizza. Like think, put the switch on it. Um, A good way to stay focused on food you eat is to stay engaged in the group of the amazing finds and the um, shopping list. Because if you have a list of things you can eat, you, you're more, you have more of a tendency to not think of the foods that you cannot eat. And people have been really posting stuff in that group and slide up. You're just going to see so many fun things in there. So many yummy foods. Gina, I was so excited to see your loot from the store today. She had mush, she had yeso bars, she had the turkey burgers, she had the tuna pouches, she had the pineapple, I mean, the cottage cheese, which was awesome because that's in the food video. And if you haven't watched it, you need to watch it. And if you haven't watched it in a long time, like last year, rewatch it. Um, always above all, start your day with real food. Make sure you know the real food you're eating, and then you get to plug in the protein bars, the protein shapes. Don't start your day saying, I'm going to have two protein shapes and a bar, and now what else am I going to eat for the day? That's going to really hinder you because they don't fill you, especially coming towards the end of a challenge. You know, you're like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to eat these three protein bars and blah, 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 blah. And before you know it, you're starving, and then you're binging, and you're like, shit. It's November 1st. We're starting the new challenge. You go on the scale, and you gain four pounds. And then you have this mindset of, oh, well, I have another seven, seven weeks. I'm going to take it off. Don't play that game with yourself. That's self-sabotage. There's a, a Zoom on that in the YouTube channel. Um, heavily processed foods. Not necessarily, I'm not talking about protein bars and protein shakes. But even like those Quest pizzas, you have to look and see if it's heavily processed. Um, I know when I had them once or twice, I was hungry. They didn't fill me up. So you really focus on the food you're eating and make sure that they're on the positive upswing. Um, drink your water. It's so important. I know people will message me like, I'm having a hard time drinking my water. I can't get my water down. I always give you guys tips and tricks, meals, crystals, crystal light. Bubblies, LaCroix. I use my, my blender. That would be a commercial. I use my blender and I fill this at least six times a day. This is 16 ounces. So find something that you can continually fill. Those big jugs, I know everybody loves them. It says, drink your water to here at this time. Drink your water to here at this time. Or you're doing great. Do this. And 
a lot of times that's very overwhelming and you, it does it more, it hinders you more than it um, helps you. Kelly, I love that cue. You like grab your water and drink your water. That was awesome. Um, with her bright water bottle. It's a shred, tried pink water bottle. It's not a shred, tried, but it's pink. So I like it. Um, so drinking your water, it helps you boost your metabolism and it helps you stay full. So please, please, please do that. Um, I say this all the time and we had a meeting on this one or two meetings ago. Hold on, somebody else is coming in. One or two meetings ago. And it was about being grateful and thankful. Center yourself. Um, I showed you guys, I every single day use this and Gina's gonna know what it is, but I use this every single day. I choose joy. And it doesn't have to be this book. I got it on Amazon, um, but it's amazing. Today, I am grateful for, I'm going to open up a blank page just so you guys can see. It says, today, I am grateful for, and you write down 10 things that you're grateful for. And I'll read you something that I, I mean, I, I have to go back here. So one of the things I wrote down is I am grateful for my Alexa. She helps me sleep at night because I listen to the waves. Like it doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm so thankful for the trees and this and that and life is so abundant. And it could be anything you are thankful for. If you put out gratefulness and thankfulness, you will be so much more fulfilled with everything that anything you try to do, you'll be more successful at it. Um, and then in here also, which is a really part I love, it says today I am focused on achieving. And then it's a goal, a when, a who, a sacrifice, and the end game. And then at the bottom, it says, I'm ready to implement what I've decided to learn today. And you write it in there. You don't have to do this. This, I have a hard time journaling. So this helps me journal. This is my second book, by the way. Look how thick that is. Um, I think it's a year, actually, now that I just said that. It might be a year. But anyway, and then I, I have all these other, I'm a journal obsessed journal person. Be badass. Somebody bought this for me, but I use it and I write in it every day. So um, super important. I'm going to read something to you really quick. Use an opportunity to practice being mindful and grateful. As important as it is to take care of your body, it is also important to take care of your mind. Research shows that actively practicing gratitude is one of the best ways to increase, increase happiness levels. That's a great reason to start thinking more mindfully about the food you're eating and to use mealtimes as a chance to express gratefulness. Whether that involves saying grace out loud with your family or just taking a moment to appreciate all the things you have in your life and the table in front of you, a less absent-minded approach to eating can bring great rewards. That says so much. So anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that because I'm not gonna preach about being grateful and mindful and thoughtful. But you should be. Um, so one thing they say is cheat when you need to, but we're not on a diet. So we don't have to cheat, but just plan for what you want to eat. We're going to the um, Yacht Club on Saturday night for anniversary for dinner. So I know I'm going to have two drinks. I know I'm going to have dessert. I know I'm probably going to eat. I don't even know what I'm going to eat, but I am going to look the menu up, look up the menu and put that food in my log. And I'm not cheating, but I'm going to hoard my carbs and fats all day for sure. Like my day is going to be egg whites and chicken breasts until I go out for dinner. Tell me you wouldn't do that, right? I mean, that's that you can do that. It's okay. Um, so it's not a cheat and it's not a reward. It's you're being mindful of what you're eating, right? Um, if you haven't found something that you love to do, fitness wise, find it, try it. This past week, because one of the gyms I work at closed um, two weeks ago, I decided to venture outside my comfort zone, sort of. I went and took a bar three class. I went, um, so that was last Thursday. And then Tuesday night, because normally I teach Thursday mornings, 5 a.m., but I got up and I went down there instead. Tuesday night, I normally would teach. And instead, I took a Spanga class, which is 20 minutes spin, 20 minutes strength, 20 minutes yoga. 
kind of outside of my comfort zone, but I don't ever take anybody else's spin classes. Um, and I did, which was fun. Um, so try something new. I know Terry, I don't know if Terry Ann's on here or not. Oh no, she's not here because um, she's going through um, her treatments for her cancer. Everybody knows that, that's been in the tribe. And she hasn't been able to get to Zumba. And today's one of her first workouts back at Zumba because she loves it. And she's been doing the band workouts and she feels strong enough and now she's gonna do it, which is freaking awesome. Find something you love, incorporate that in your day, especially if you've been neglecting it the past seven weeks of the challenge. This is super important. And this has nothing to do with the challenge ending or at all, but don't just copy what works for others. And if you were in my macros 101 Zoom last night and old tribe members you weren't, this was a new tribe member group. Um, and it's on YouTube if you guys wanna watch it, it's open to everybody, anybody can watch it. Um, I said, the reason why I don't ask people to post their food journals or share their food logs because I don't want you to copy them. People will start eating things they don't like. Things I post are general. I don't cook. So mine are just buy it at the store and you're good to go. Like if you notice my food that I posted today, there's nothing cooked on there. And I switched out the chicken because Mike's not cooking chicken tonight to the turkey burgers because I could put those in the air fryer, which is so easy. Um, just because you've heard that a particular food is good or something else, blah, blah, blah. You're an individual, you need individual individuality. Um, take a less formal approach, know what you like, like what you know, and go with that. That is so super important. Everybody should be taking a multivitamin as well. I wanted to say that um, to everybody going out of this challenge. I don't know if I mentioned it going into the challenge, but everybody should be taking multivitamins, men, women, doesn't matter. Um, and that's that for my soapbox. Okay, so we are 23 minutes in. I got kicked out last, last night, um, of course. So raise your hand if you want to share like an epiphany or something that changed you this uh, seven weeks or something you just want to share about the seven weeks to get the new tribe members excited to start on Monday. I, will, I would love to volunteer you guys. So Stacy, you can go first since you're my sister. Thanks. I just, I keep saying to Shannon, I feel like this is magic. I've heard of her doing this for years and I just, I don't know what stopped me from doing it, but I can't believe how thankful I am that I'm doing it. I'm enjoying it. It's work sometimes to get the numbers to work. Um, I know in the beginning, I was very frustrated that first week trying to get my numbers to work, but um, it works. It's, it's, I find it's not hard. I've actually done stuff I wanted and had what I wanted. And I'm surprised that that works, but it does. Good, so glad. Thank and you. you're down almost 20 pounds in the one session. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, thank um, you. And you're a cancer survivor and you said that your energy level's up and you're feeling good and starting to feel back to yourself and all that good stuff. Love that. Anybody else wanna share anything? I love those hand claps that I see. It's so funny, it's so cute to me. Brian, go. Yeah, it's been a great challenge and I'm very thankful for all of you guys' support and motivation. Um, it's awesome seeing everybody working so hard to achieve their goals because, you know, as far as you keep going, that doesn't stop. You just gotta keep on working hard. Even when life gets busy, you know, things are always gonna come up and, and um, you know, your mind's gonna try and take the easy route and uh you know lose focus on that but you just gotta keep on pushing and um it's good to be in a group of other people who are striving to be their best also so thanks um before the shred tribe there was pre-brian obviously um brian is a freaking badass brian is probably the biggest badass in the whole tribe <laughs> whatever um but pre pre shannon shred tribe a couple of years ago um, people probably don't know your story because you were overweight. How much did you weigh? Yeah, I lost, I was 245 pounds at my heaviest. And then I got down to like 160. Um, now I'm like 175 or about that. Um, but yeah, I, I just, and I lost it all on my own just by like um, 
go into well my work kind of changed and i just started exercising and i was cooking healthy and eat i was a chef so i knew how to cook healthy because i did it for other people i just never did it for myself he is a chef, um, he is a chef. He is a chef. yeah so um so i i just started cooking healthy and stuff but i just kind of i just kind of did it on my own but now it's good to um but it was difficult to sustain it because i didn't really know um have the information that I do now. So now that I, you know I'm doing this, um, it's much easier to sustain and continue to improve because you get to a point where it's difficult to keep, you know, um, going further. Yep. So. Yeah, you're awesome. And he's like Mr. Thanks. Thousand Mile Runs and everything. So yeah. we love having you Thanks. in the So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Does anyone else want to share anything? You guys are very quiet. I don't want to volunteer anybody else. I feel bad, but I'm going to. We heard from Chris. We heard from Stacy. We heard from Brian. I love, I say that and everybody looks down like I'm a teacher. Like if I look down, she won't see me, but I will see you. Nassim, you can go. All right. Uh, here we go. Uh, so I have, so I'm going to go on vacation next week. And I actually, Shannon and I were debating, like, should I go on maintenance or what? Um, and then I started thinking about it. And the more that I go throughout my week, I try to picturing a day not logging or even just like just changing it. And I, it really, it's actually like hard for me to do now. I am so ingrained in this program and it's, it's actually not even a program anymore. It's actually a way of life and I just love it. And it's, and it works. It works. So I'm forever thankful to the program. Gosh, so many. And I actually don't even try to like push it on if folks are interested and they ask me what I'm doing like some people will you know like call me repeatedly like what did you what have you done you're so it's changed your body's changed and um and I was you know carrying around a good amount of weight in my lower half of my body um, for a long time and it really bothered me and I just no matter what I did I've tried every single thing you can imagine weight watchers you know beach body um keto I've done Atkins just nothing nothing has ever worked and i know that my body was absolutely like deprived of protein um, and i never ate enough as well so now through this program i'm at what 16 pounds down and tons of inches i can't even count how many inches yeah, uh, my body yeah you know, the actual body percentage um, the body fat from the in body that we did um it was like, like seven pounds seven ounce uh seven yeah it was like 33 down to like 26 or something or 27. I don't remember, but I mean, it's just phenomenal. So I just can't even imagine even on vacation, I'm still going to do it. And, you know, maybe I'll have like a couple extra, you know, pounds here and there, but you know, I know I can get right back on it the week after and it'll be awesome. Back from vacation. She says that, but watch. Yeah. I'll be on. Yeah. I'll still be exercising every day. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy your but, vacation. Don't, don't, don't yeah. not enjoy it. Um, does anybody else want to share anything? Lindley, do you want to, are you hiding behind your cartoon character? I am. You want to yeah. talk? You don't have to show yourself, but do you want to say anything? You don't have to. I'm just asking. No, I am hiding behind her um, only because it's the screens across the room. But anyway, no, I would. I'm always happy to share because I am. Um, this is my second consecutive tribe and I'm going into the third one. And I can remember when I started, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this because I can't eat all that food. And I, it took me a while, like Stacy said, like it took a while to figure out, but I have never been more fulfilled both in my tummy and emotionally because I'm eating so much more food than I have ever eaten in the past. And that's because I've been depriving myself. So in my mind, a lot of food equals weight. Therefore, less food equals lose weight. And that's not how, and I've quickly learned that's not how it works. So I find it so fulfilling. I find the tracking to be amazing. I'm like Nassim, like I, I can't imagine a day where I wouldn't go on there and do something, um, whether it's put in my water or whether I, you know, but I track everything. And I've actually gone on a couple of vacations and I was panicking. What am I going to do? How am I going to eat lobster morning, noon, and night if I'm on, you know, on this? And then you get there and you realize I don't need the lobster with the mayonnaise. I can just do the lobster without the bun. I mean, there's certain things you can do. 
um, it's been amazing. And um, I'm a half a pound away from 20 pounds down. <laughs> awesome. I don't know Friday's going to either be a big day or a sad day if I can't get this last half a pound off. But it's amazing. And, you know, so I would say anybody who is new into the tribe, you got to stick with it. I think every one of us had that moment of, oh, I can't do this. Either it's too hard, too complicated. My life is too, but I will tell you, your life is not too complicated to feel healthy and strong and vibrant. And I, I can't imagine going in any other direction. So thanks, Lindley. Yes, absolutely. So for the new people, you're going to love it. And for the rest of us who's been on it for a while, and for those who, came came ahead of me you all gave me the encouragement to stick with it so we're all um paying that forward hello they're not really loud did it get loud did you guys hear that tv um that was awesome thank you so much Lindley. i appreciate that um so like i said this is the wrap-up meeting for the fall challenge going into the winter challenge um I want to say like only a handful full are not staying on. I'm going through the update forms that you guys all filled out. And if you told me that something was changing or you wanted a different habit or whatever the case is, um, I'm going through that and I'm updating your profiles. Um, my app that's powered by Trainerize, they are going to roll out another version of the in-app tracking um, they're updating it. So I will let you guys know when they already rolled it out. I'm a beta tester. Um, I didn't tell anybody really about it. Didn't push it because there was a lot of things I didn't like about it. Um, so that's why we're using my fitness pal and Fitbit still, um, maybe with the new rollout, I'll be happier with it, but you really couldn't change serving sizes easily. I couldn't use it. So if I couldn't use it, it would have been really frustrating for me to try to teach somebody else to use it. So, um, and I track every day. So um, that will be coming out on the horizon. Um, we're gonna continue with the workouts on Mondays and Saturdays, times might change, but they're gonna be keep going. December, the first Monday of December, first Monday of February and the first Monday of April, I'm gonna be doing workouts at the Meyer Amphitheater um, on the stage out there. So I will not be able to do it in the Zoom, but everybody's more than welcome to come, it's a free event. Um, it's given through the downtown of West Palm. Um, but otherwise everything else will pretty much go forward. Um, in the update form, my mistake, and I should have asked this, and maybe you guys can message me if you listen to this, but I had said, do you want any habits added to your profile? I didn't think to say, do you want to keep water? Do you want to keep your steps? And do you want to add something else? So now I'm going through people's profiles and I'm like, oh, should I have taken those away? Do they not want them anymore? So if you want to keep your water and your steps or just the water, just the steps, please message me. That only goes for the continuing on people. New people, you're keeping it. But if you don't want them continuing on, please let me know. And I'm so sorry. I didn't think to put that in the update form. And I'm not doing another update form. So um, just message me if you don't want them in there anymore, if you do want them or whatever. Um, I keep them in mind because I like checking it off at the end of the day that I got all my water in, that I got all my steps in. Um, but you don't have to. The step challenge ends on the 29th, on Friday. If you're in the step, step challenge, make sure you guys send me your total steps for the entire challenge. I'm not going to total them up. You guys need to send them to me. There's like 20 people in there, I think. I can't remember how many people. And then we'll figure out who the winner is and gets the money. That'll be fun too. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for staying on. Thank you for being part of my tribe. Hearts to everyone. Um, and I'm super excited for the next challenge. I hope you guys are too. I'm trying to think of other fun things to do. To Besides the meetup, we're going to do the, I know I'm sorry if you don't live here, but we're going to do the Tuesday night spin class. That's going to be the fundraiser because we do have a, a philanthropy for my tribe and it's the wounded warrior. Um, the reason why I didn't choose breast cancer or ovarian cancer or any of those is because we have 180 people in the app and I couldn't choose one cancer, unfortunately, it's sad, but to um, donate to. 
So um, my dad is a Vietnam vet with two Purple Hearts. So I decided we're doing the Wounded Warrior. Um, and that's what it's been. And that's what I've been donating to. Um, from all your fees, I donate every, every challenge. Um, and so when we do the spin class on the Tuesday and the Sunday, uh, a portion of the fee is going to go to the studio and then the other portion is going to go to the fundraiser. I'm not going to get paid for it. So um, that'll be super fun. Um, I can zoom you guys in if you have a bike at home and you want to ride with us. I've done that before. Um, so that'll be fun to do. You don't have to donate if you don't want to because you're not there. But I think that's it. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go make my yummy turkey burgers. I'm going to take a picture of the seasoning so you guys can all see it. And I hope you guys all have an amazing Wednesday night. If you're working out on Saturday, we're doing it 5 p.m. Um, I don't think anything's going to change. If it does, I will let you know. Um, and that's pretty much it. Remember, always be badass and have an amazing day, everyone. Thank you so much for coming on tonight.